Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel, and today I'm actually going to make a new cleaning video again, but this time I'm going to make it with uh, the Bissell Spot Clean. Uh, people probably know, you know, all the YouTube videos or reviews that are going around about the Bissell the Little Green, but they didn't sell that in my country since I'm living in Norway, which is kind of lame. So, I bought the um, spot clean instead, uh, since I actually could buy it at my local store and they just shipped it like straight to me. I had it like in a short time. If I bought the little, little green one, it would basically cost me twice as much because of, you know, customs. Customs fees in Norway are really bad and the shipping prices, though these are kind of, you know, big, heavy things. <coughs> so, Sorry, if I cough a lot, it's because I am sick. I have been sick for like one and a half week with fever and flu and everything like that, but that's for another story, because today I'm actually going to test these out. Well, I have already pre-tested it, so I know it works and it's amazing, but I have a new thing here, so I have this head right here. This is my friend Paxi, or Pax. Um, he wanted me to, um, deep clean his head since, you know, he wanted to buy these himself, but I bought it, so he asked me to do it. So, I am going to have this video that I haven't seen anyone tried before. It's basically a head that is not washed for a while. This is a really old suit, by the way. Um, so, th I think this is the first time it will be deep clean, other than, you know, put in a bathtub. So, this is the first head. Uh, have it been cleaned before this video versus one of my own heads. This is Spike, made by Phoenix Wolf or Phoenix Nest. <laughs> I already tried it on him and it did take a lot of dirt out, so I'm really impressed by that. Really, I really love it. But I'm going to try it for a second time and see how much dirt it's left in there. Since you know, I haven't seen people try it multiple times on their head, like only once, maybe just going on or over it one time more with some water and without the soap and stuff, but I already deep cleaned him, got a lot out, and I wanted to see how much I can get out of it like a second time. So, it will be a uncleaned head versus a cleaned head that's used with this machine. So. For this one, I have, uh, you know, these I got with the package. It's an oxygen boost that you get with these, and a spot and stain um, kind of soap liquid, you know. that It doesn't foam, but I am too scared to actually try it on directly on my head. So I really want to try these on a, like a patch of fur to see if it actually works, uh, and if it doesn't damage the fur or anything. And this one is only for, you know, oxygen boost that permanently removes through stains. I, again, I'm going to try these on in, you know, a later video to see if it actually works and if it damaged the fur and everything like that. So that will be, you know, for a later one. But for uh, my mixture, I'm just adding a, like a tea, yeah, tablespoon, half a tea, tablespoon with these one on a full tank. This is Milo, uh, it's a uh, really uh, good uh, soap that I use for my body suits and stuff. And yes, this is the rest of Paxi, I just clean him, so that's why he's hanging here with the fans, so I'm really sorry about that. And my washing machine is going, so yes, but um, I use this for cleaning my body suits, my feet, paws, and everything like that, and it works really well. So I'm going on with these, so my mixture is ready. So, without further ado, I am going to clean these bastards out, and I'm going to do a round, like, outside the head, inside the mouth, inside the head, the neck piece, and everything like that, so, we'll see, and, uh, I'm just gonna get a bucket, by the way, because in these tanks, you can see it's kind of, you know, already grayish, so you cannot see it exactly how it looks, so I'm going to get a bucket, and... Let's get started on this one. Alright, so I got my bucket, and the first thing you want to like to do uh, before starting on this thing is actually to cover the eyes with some 
paper towels or anything like that to make sure that the eyes doesn't get um, messed up because you never know if the paint will run or get damaged when you contact with water and since I have soap too you will make sure that the eyes are completely safe so that's what I'm doing right now just stuffing them in nice and tight there we go now we're ready for the adventure and I will put on some music for you since the machine is quite loud and I'm going to add headphones on too because I don't want to listen to it the whole time I would rather want to listen to some music so let's get started You were so wrong letting me on as you took me down to bed when I came home you were long gone nothing left but ashes and dust I'm gonna break you wanna shake you to your broken down and I go Ooh, I'm gonna take you and make you regret the choice you made and I go here I haven't taken anything out yet but from where I can see oh it's oh there we go it's kind of nasty and uh, I will I brought this little glass here is to uh, you know put some in to show you how it looks like and I chose the best one because it's like a skull so <laughs> because it's nasty but here we go let's see what it will reveal Oh, that's nasty. There's some foam in there too. I can try to get that away so you can see properly, but let's go! Alright. This is what I got from it. Ugh. This is what I got away from the head, like inside and outside. And that's quite a good result, you know, um, honestly. So I will go over that again with water, and I will also go ahead to bring my other head so I can go over it a second time and see how much dirt I can get out of it from my second time washing it. So stay stunned, and let's do this! Alright, so now I have gone over the head a second time. I don't need these anymore. And, um, it's a good result. Let's see, with all the soap and stuff, you can already see it's still really, really bad. Even, like, after the suction and everything with water and stuff. So, so you can, I can show you here what I'm talking about give you a good example you know so this was with only water and you can see it's like still really really bad it's like still really dirty 
and uh, all that kind of stuff. So we just pour that in right there. But now the head is clean with some, you know, scrubbing on the outside, inside, making sure I got everything. And I will put it on a fan and I will wait for it to dry and then I will see. <coughs> Sorry. How the fur will be afterwards, after the cleaning, because the machine is sucking out all that nasties that is in your suit with the water and everything like that. So uh, let's let's put it to dry and let's get my second head and give it a second try on the deep cleaner. And by the way, I have not worn. Uh, the other head after I clean it, so we will go over it a second time and see the results and see if there's just as bad Probably not since I already cleaned it, but how bad it is a second clean So we will basically see how much you kind of need to clean your head before it's completely Completely clean, but we'll see stay tuned All right, so uh, that was the first head I just cleaned that was unclean for some time and now my second head spike he's gonna be cleaned again with the same machine uh, and see how much I can get out of it the second time I'm trying to clean him uh, though it was a really good result the first time uh, and when I always clean the heads with the machine I am always going over with first soap water and then some water only to get all the soap out and everything so uh, I am really excited about this and see if I can get more out of it than I already have if not I will not be surprised since the machine does a lot of the job but you know I just want to be on the safe side so that's what what we are testing out right here so <coughs> without further ado let's get started and again enjoy some music while I am putting on my headphones so here we go. The cleaning off the head the second time after I did it the first time with both soap and water and everything like that so I repeated the same thing here I will of course go over it with the water uh, later on uh, but I just wanted to show you the results right here um, let's see it's kind of dusty but no, that's not too, no, that's not bad at all. Honestly, that's better than what I freaking expected. Let's see here. With our uh, really good water here. So, this is what is aft, like, left in the head. 
with an entire washing on the outside and the inside. And that is pretty darn good. There's just, you know, the soapy water and maybe, maybe some dirt. I'm not too sure, but that is really good. So, conclusion for this video. Yes, the, the, the cleaning device, the spa clean or little green, it's actually the same thing. The only difference is the brand actually, is that it takes everything out and um, you don't have to worry about cleaning it multiple times for it to be clean. That is extremely good. So yeah, there we have this and I will clean both of the heads, uh, not, not clean them, but I will dry them. This one I just need to go over with water to make sure every, all the soap is out. But. Um, the head is not heavy at all, it's not really wet, it's kind of, you know, moist, uh, not that w kind of wet when you will sunk it into a bathtub or anything like that, kind of deep clean. So it takes a way shorter time to actually dry, but I will go ahead and put both heads on drying. The other head is already uh, on its way to dry, but this one I will put on too, and I will put a um, post up video uh, on this uh, to show you the result probably you will not see it on the video but I will explain how it feels and everything like that so let's dry the heads and let's let's see what happens alright so now the both heads are completely dry and uh, it's been about two hours something like that two and a half hours maybe and the heads are completely dry because I use uh, one normal fan and I use a fan with tubes that goes inside the head so it will dry faster and honestly the results on both of them um, this one is not much for uh, you know big of results since I already, already cleaned it but the colors are already so bright and on this one on Paxi or Pax it's pretty much softer honestly the colors are brighter and the tongue is more clean and the off-white fur is more showing you know it was not as yellow as before because you know it hasn't been clean before I made a video so that can happen and especially to uh, off-white uh, colors or furs like this one but it's really a good result honestly it's so much softer and you cannot feel that any soap is left in the suits smell so good and uh, I'm honestly so surprised <laughs> By the results on both of them and um, yeah it's basically so much softer and brighter and it looks more you know new and um, the stains are gone that was on the shit here there we go the the white part here on the back it's gone the same with spike that I already cleaned beforehand so the result is not much different or anything like that but this is really good I'm really surprised by the whole thing honestly and I really recommend for anyone that is going to deep clean their heads to get a um, little green or the Bissell Spa Clean it both are named Bissell so it's the same brand just you know a different new model and stuff like that but always before you're doing uh, the cleanups for your heads check with your maker because if you have um, some airbrushing it can fade or bleed uh, which didn't happen to this suit which I'm really happy for and you know there's some um, airbrushing here airbrushing here some old airbrushing on the ears but that was already you know faded before I got it uh, to clean here's some airbrushing inside the ears but that didn't bleed either and uh, Spike didn't have any airbrushing so that was no problem with that I was not worried about it at all 
but it's really good and I really recommend it but always check with your makeup before including any type of water or soap or anything like that because you know makers are different with how they treat their suits the head especially with if you know have any airbrushing markings or the eye especially to make sure that they will not be damaged but I'm really 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 glad uh, I got this machine and it works pretty well uh, with uh, heads and feet paws, paws, body suits if you need the extra cleaning, tails and etc. It's it's super good and I am honestly really happy I got it and uh, you know <laughs> everything is just more brighter especially with the tongue and the lining are more you know if it has more color because Spike has uh, purple inside his head uh, Paxi or Pax has black, but not like gray and black, but you know, it's always good to take care of and uh, I am stunned, amazed, and I freaking love it and I always love it. I already like tried it on his feet paws and the same with uh, Rowdy because they're both indoor sock paws. And it gets the dirt really out, especially if you don't have any sandals or whatever. But you should always wear sandals in case, you know, because the fur can get damaged. But it gets the dirt out, and that is the most important part. And it doesn't damage anything of the fur, the head, the foam, anything at all. So, yeah. If you can get one, a Bissell Little Green or a Bissell Spa Clean, same thing, but... Don't buy the ones that have heat, that prov provides heat to uh, the machine because, you know, the heat will damage the fur and everything like that. But, you know, these ones that I got or have seen doesn't. So, go ahead and get one that doesn't heat up the water for you and everything. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm really, really, really happy with the results. Because you don't have to like do it, go over the head multiple times the other than one with soap water and one with water to get the everything out the the soap and everything so the fur doesn't feel sticky or weird uh, doesn't damage it over time but it still feels like it is so much softer so I'm really happy but yeah that's my video and I really hope you enjoy and get one yourself for healthy reasons but you don't have to use the uh, machine other than if you have like multiple hours of suiting uh, otherwise it will be quite good just to scrub it on the outside with like spot cleaning and in the inside to remove some sweat and all but yeah that's it and I hope you enjoy this video and I hope you enjoy and find you know everything helpful with what I do because I really find it important to have suits cleaned and that they are up to standards you know you name it you know just keeping them in good quality and everything like that so thank you guys for watching and I will probably come around with a new cleaning video one time or another you know with the machine or anything like that but Thank you and thanks for watching.